2022-105. Open space game. And we are being video. Okay. Um, I'm going to review the minutes. Saturday, good for you. I, I got everybody else's. I thought I. Yeah. I, to yeah. This. It's okay. Okay. Great. Um, which, which Saturday? The twenty-seven at ten a.m. And then there's the meeting <coughs> previous to that on the twenty-fourth at seven p.m. The forum. That's in my calendar. Okay. Yep. And then there's another one on the 9th at 1 p.m., the next one in three weeks, if we, if we would. Okay. okay, everybody's read the minutes. Any corrections? No? Okay, I moved. Um, so moved, so second. We vote to accept the minutes. <laughs> All seconded? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. They're accepted, June 27th, 2022 minutes. Did the other boards give you any input yet? Okay, not a problem. <laughs> Did you email them? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine. Um, you know, we can. We can't blame them. Can't blame them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you no they, they, yeah, they should have. You gave them a hard copy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, months ago. And I yep. actually, I got back to Eric Harris, which is on one of those committees, I'm not sure, and he's doing the Zap the Blackstone. He's on conservation. Oh, okay. So I said, you know, geez, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, not a problem. Um, so I figured we could talk about the public forum. Um, you know, we have a little bit longer to plan now since it got pushed back. Um, but just to make sure that we all know sort of what we're, we're doing and um, if there's anything we need to prepare ahead of time, especially if we're going to get um, some refreshments, um, you know, assign that to people and, and things like that. Um, so just to reiterate, um, the public forum has been moved to, what's that, the last week or second to last week of August? Uh, 24th. Yeah, Wednesday the 24th and then Saturday the 27th uh, with the rain date of Sunday, August 28th. Um, so that Wednesday will be in here. Um, we'll have an in-person and a Zoom um, component of the meeting, so it'll be hybrid. Um, so, you know, folks can't get out here or don't want to be in person, they'll be able to view the meeting. Um, so during that meeting, what I'll do is I'm going to put together a presentation that's going to give a, a, you know, a big overview of what we've been doing. Um, so I'll, you know, I'll talk about how this started, you know, why we're doing the update, what's what's an open space plan useful for, um, you know, why towns need to have them and sort of what the benefits are with that. Um, I'll run through some highlights of the plan. So, you know, talking about um, some demographics of the town to give people context of what um, open space and recreation resources we might need to provide for our, our, our folks in town. Um, I'll give some information on some environmental features that are in town. Um, some, you know, water resources and, and things like that. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll give a shorter presentation on our survey results. So the, the survey results presentation that we had um, was last time or the, the time before that. Uh, it's pretty lengthy. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll take out key questions that we had that might influence, um, you know, some action items and I'll hi highlight those areas and just sort of give an overall uh, view of what we found in the survey. 
Um, and then I'll run through the uh, draft goals uh, and objectives that we came up with. And so that's sort of where we'll cap that meeting, is just that presentation. It'll be recorded so we can put that um, on the town's website so folks can watch it uh, later on as well. Um, and so that's just to give an overview for everyone else what, what you've been doing and sort of what we're working towards. And then on Saturday uh, or Sunday, if it's rained out, we'll be meeting at that common and that's more when folks will interact with us and give us uh, their ideas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print out all those maps that we have. Um, I'm gonna print them out, sort of a, a big copy so that folks can write on them or mark different areas. Um, so we'll have stations for all the maps. Um, I thought too we could have um, maybe some poster boards for each of our goals so that if folks have specific ideas for those goals, you know, we can have sticky notes and, and put those on uh, those poster boards so we can build some uh, more targeted action items for those goals. Um, and then I was thinking too, we could have some poster boards of just generally, you know, what do you like about Douglas and um, what do you not dislike, but what do you wish Douglas had or, or what, what can we improve? Um, you know, just sort of general questions there. Um, I think it'll probably be useful if we have, if we sort of split up and have somebody at our map station guiding people as they come through and um, at the, um, the goal station and then sort of our, our general question station, have a couple people uh, sort of spread out that way um, and then maybe have one per person uh, signing people in so that we can keep track of who, who shows up. Is there any, um, you know, do people want to sign up for a specific task or just on the day of, you know, you just go to a station? Does well, it I like maps. Okay. <laughs> are, you do, are we doing this for both? So um, we'll do that just for the Saturday and then, um, you know, if we want to take comments at, from people who show up for the presentation, maybe we can have a comment box or, um, you know, a short little paper survey that folks can fill out and that way we can get their input too if they can't show up um, at the on the Saturday event. But are you gonna have the maps on? Yep, I can bring the maps okay. uh, for, for both days. Let me write that down. So we should find some tables to get up there and whatnot for the common. Yes, I um I can bring uh, like those easels, like that one back there. Um, but if, if we have tables, that'll probably be easier to write on, um, just because, especially if it ends up being windy, those might fall down a lot. Um, but you know, if not, I will have um, some easels for, for the poster boards. I could probably find a table somewhere in the neighborhood. Okay. I've got two basic tables I can use. There's six foot folding banquet tables. Good. We'll bring those. I'll skip the neighbors. <laughs> so let's see. So again, we're going to have a map station, a goal station, and then just sort of general information. Oh, and then uh, photographs. Oh yes, good good reminder. Photo station. And then we'll have our sign-in and refreshment station. Okay. And then, so we'll have each of you stationed there. If you wanna rotate, you can. If you wanna just stick to where you are, that's okay too. Um, and then I'll just be floating around. So if there are questions or people are confused, I can help guide them uh, that way. Um, and then what I'll do also is I can, uh, I've done this before with some other towns, I'll come up with like a, a question sheet so if, um, you know, folks are sort of just standing there not really interacting with anything, we can sort of have, um, you know, pre-made questions to prompt them to get some responses. Okay. Any questions about that setup? We do have 
hundred dollars to spend for open space. So if we wanted to get, you know, food or sure. coffee or whatever. Um, do you want to do oh, like that. coffee and donuts? Coffee, juice, donuts. There's people that don't drink coffee. Hmm? Coffee and juice. Yeah. Okay. There's people who don't eat donuts. Yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I can get the food, I guess. Muffins. Coffee. Okay, so Sue will get the food. Get some grapes. Yeah, the food. <laughs> okay. Um, and I updated the flyers. I did put them on the OneDrive, but I didn't uh, email those out, so I'll do that. Um, and then I printed off. There's 35 copies there. Okay, um, it, if you want more, just let me know. I can bring some to you. Street. <laughs> um, and then yeah, so you know, same with the survey. Wherever you're posting uh, the flyer, or if you you know send out an email or anything like that, just let me know so I can make sure we we get it in that the the plan. Um, any questions about the public forum? So these will, I have to write down where I put them as well again. Yeah, I just want to shoot me an email. Um, you know, just, you don't need to tell me exact slow, you know, locations, but yeah. just generally where you post them around. I would say probably all the same places. Just okay. go back to that list and I'll just do that. Okay, great. Um, any other questions about the public forum? No. Okay. Um, for the maps, um, did folks have edits that they wanted to give to me um, and I I told Sue I meant to tell everybody else too if it's easier to write on the maps that I gave you the edits instead of trying to put that into words um, you can do that and I can bring those to Matt um, and he should be able to make the edits that way did you um, can you guys have the capability of downloading the Massachusetts, uh, the Douglas map from Mass Mapper with the trails overlay. Okay, put on um, as a separate those. map or yes. as a separate Yeah, because okay. I tried, I was playing with that. Sure. And how many pieces I had to take yeah. together to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and add, I know. You guys GPS the trails at the school. Can you add that to that layer, yep. too, please? I have this. Bad zoning. I did just, I wrote down something off each. Yep, that's fine. Page. Yeah, whatever is easiest. If it's easier to write out what the corrections are, that's fine. If you know it's easier to mark it on the map, that's okay too. It was. It's pretty difficult to write. You know, all there's so many different properties up in this northwest corner. That, okay. You know, basically, I just said that it has out of date state forests, okay. industrial, commercial, and adult entertainment zones, and you know, perhaps. The changes in the village in East Douglas might have changed for zoning since so everything else is so out of date. That might be new too. Okay. So I was like, go to the, go to your open space inventory map, and that has more state forests than the other one. Okay. And also, um, you could go to the Douglas Mass Go Assessors GIS, and that has the most up to date probably of anything. Not okay. It's up to date. And then the, the conservations of map eight, I was like, how does the level of perpetuity show up? It was a little awkward on those maps. Okay. So I like just, the yeah, cross hatching. Yeah, it means. And then one of the maps, all the words, you know, the one with like where the police station is and everything like that. All the, yep. All the stickers covered up the location. Yeah. You need to clear sticky back. <laughs> the other notes that we made at the last meeting about the maps, like putting the trails in red, mm -hmm. um, do you 
do we have to resubmit those to you again, or you? No, I have those notes. Um, okay, so then adding the Southern England trunk line too, because that wasn't on the map as protected what it should, should be. Okay. Just search Commonwealth of Massachusetts properties. Um, any other new edits um, or again, you know, if you want to keep marking up your maps, that's fine. Yeah, my main, my main thing is these aren't roads, these aren't public ways. These are locked gates and inside the state forest. Okay. This one, I don't even, yeah, it's not a road. Okay. So, you know, that, I don't even think that's a public way. This only goes up to a gate. Okay. So I, I just maybe change them to trails. Either take them out, yeah. Take them out completely. for that particular map completely. Okay. Because we'll have a, a actual trails map. Right. Okay. So it might just make things a lot easier if you okay. take out take those out of there. Like Ridge Trail and Streeter Trail, they're dirt roads, but they're not open. Yeah, but you know, yeah. correct. Yeah. So that's what I had circled too. Is all the ones that I knew of that were. Not roads. <laughs> okay. And I, I also couldn't see like it's where it says conservation con restriction. Is that the conservation land? Is that no? no. CR is different. Yeah. Which different. which map number are you looking at? Eight. Or is that just town owned land? Conservation restrictions are like what the Metacomic Land Trust would have okay. on a piece of property. They would, they would be agent to, uh, it would be protected. Okay. But not by the town. Correct. Yeah, well, through another I don't agency. think the town has a, oh. yeah, even if the town had property, another agency so would have all the ones it. that say town of Douglas conservation land? It's no, that's bad. different. That's different. That's yeah. different. But I'm wondering this map, there's only one spot that's conservation restriction? Yeah, that's what I, down off a of shore? It, it's, so that information is no, from the state's sorry, that's uh, that's website. That's off a hilltop drive. Mm -hmm. But it, it's possible that that has changed. Um, so if there are more conservation restrictions or uh, any APRs, um, yeah, I was just that surprised there was only one little spot. Aren't marked? Um, definitely let me know. I wonder if that's tied to that solar farm. I don't know. Yeah, what the one up on hilltop? Yeah. Oh no, that's not no. no that's yeah. not the solar farm. The solar farm's off a wall, like. Yep. I don't know what that. Well, that's and that's you know it, that shows that it's undeveloped land, but it's a solar farm. Mm -hmm. So you know, there's just so many things that are wrong with this map, and it's so <laughs> small, it's really hard to tell. You know, like the chapter 61A versus the B and stuff like that. I did with colored pencil color colored in all the large owner pieces. I okay. don't know if you want that or not. Sure. These are probably a lot of them. <sighs> yeah, you probably listed on this list. Okay. Did you get Emerson? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Oh. Emerson Smith. That's what Lisa said. I was talking yeah, to all about him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lisa, meant, I mentioned him to Lisa, and she said that his plan was to acquire land and then give it to the state. Mm -hmm. So I told Chuck about him. I don't know that he's, hmm. he's still there today. I don't know how long he'll be there. Yep. Um, Sue, when you say large owner, um, do you just mean that the the parcel of land is is large? Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, and did owner's you, overweight yet? Yeah. Did you have a certain uh, acreage? that you qualified that as just so we can I guess it. you could see on the list what maybe, you know, it's Okay. It's, okay. And there's a few people that have just died recently in town that have large pieces of them. Okay. Like off Walnut Street. Okay.
Uh, any other edits that you want to share now? So I will get these uh, edits to Matt. He is out on vacation, and I think he has another one coming up. So I am hopeful that he'll have updated maps for our forum. But if not, we'll definitely have updated maps before we submit to the state. Um, so next I had on my list was to go through um, or talk about our site visits. So. Just a reminder on that, um, for the open space plan, uh, the town is required to do uh, an ADA self-assessment on town-owned conservation and recreation properties. So just a reminder of what that is. Uh, it's any land that's um, deeded for conservation or recreation use, again, owned by the town. Um, either held by the Conservation mm -hmm. Commission yeah. uh, or uh, a Parks and Rec Department no, or Commission, no. or if neither of those exist or aren't um, landowners, then uh, what's held by the Board of Selectmen. But again, falling in that conservation. And, uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Sure. Um, so that's what the ADA uh, site walk is. Um, and so we tried to go through before what the um, particular uh, properties that we had to do this assessment on was. But there was con some confusion on where the properties were, and discrepancies between the address and the name. And um, so what I've done is um, this uh, smaller spreadsheet here, this is uh, the information that I had originally. Um, I reprinted it from Mass Mapper to see if they had the addresses on them. Uh, they don't have the address included in the spreadsheet, so that wasn't really helpful. But um, I have Mass Mapper pulled up, so what I can do is, if we don't know uh, these areas by the site name, I can try to highlight and tell you where they are in the town. And then in addition to that, um, from the town's um, GIS assessor's website, I downloaded this information. It's all town-owned properties. So it's not, um, you know, it includes a lot more than just that open space and conservation recreation land. So I tried to cross off some already that I thought didn't, um, you know, any, any tax possession lands. I figured those were not um, applicable, but I wasn't sure about other stuff. So I figured first we'll go through this list because uh, this is the definitely, um, or we may have to do uh, an assessment on these lands, figure out where they, they are and start to set up some site visit dates. And then I figured we could go through this list and if there's any additional properties that we've missed, that we should be doing uh, an assessment for, we'll add those uh, to this smaller list here. All right, so let's start off with this uh, smaller spreadsheet. Um, so the first site is Mumford Street Conservation Area, and that looks like it's uh, you know in the northern part of town. Do we do we know the address of that area, or just generally where it is? Okay. All right, so we can confirm that that is a conservation area, um, and there is public access to it. Are the trails on that property? Or the, the Mumford? Yeah. Well, no. Not really. It's just not like steps up the right. hill. And yeah. No, no. So, so this is the problem. You got the the Mumford Street is my dad's. Okay. Yep. Me and Chuck were looking at. Yeah. Mumford Street is my dad's. It has parking. And it has a trail at the and trail. boardwalk. Yes. Yeah. But the mass mapper is calling the one up border bordering Sutton, the Mumford Street Conservation Area. This is where the con the confusion is coming in. So right, that's but the Mary Lynn Doobie one is at Mumford and Manchog Street, Manchog Road. The one between the two. Mm. So, so if you if you're okay, going so to Manchog, it's the one on the on the right, just be. Just at the fork, you take Mumford Road is to the left. 
<laughs> so this one's a bigger parcel and one's a smaller parcel. The smaller one is, is Manchog Road. And that's the one you guys are calling? Doobie. That's the Doobie one? All right. And it goes out to the river. In the back, yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. So that's, what's that one called? Mary Lynn Doobie. She's a former conservation commissioner, D-U-B-E. Oh, sorry, Danny. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> um, so this pink area gotcha. here, it's right on the border to Sutton, right along um, Manchog Street. So that's the one they're calling the Mumford, Mumford Street, Street Conservation yep. Area. It doesn't go down to the river? Mm, no, not that one. I mean, it looks like the there's on maybe the other some side streams the... that run, a river that runs through it. Okay, so. There is a, a little here, stream that runs through it. There's another one. There's a little stream right this here. Right. This, this one is, is Duval Road. This one is my dad. Area okay. Yeah, so it's dedicated this to my Okay, Duval so the name is different Duval. than yeah, Mumford this Street? Is Duval. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right there. What's that name? Uh, so this I is guess Mary Lynn. Leon H. Mozinski, M O S C Z Y. NSKI conservation area. Okay. So the Mumford one is the Leon? Yes. According to that map. Yeah, that's. Um, Mumford Street is the Leon Mazinski. Conservation. Okay. So there's another one <coughs> at the split. So maybe it's one of these two conservation. No, it says French. Well, All right, go ahead. French, Sorry. Um, yeah, French let's Macau let's go through this one first because there are um, more town-owned properties on this larger list. Um, I just wanted to go through the mass mapper ones first so that we know where those are. All right, so there's two uh, that are called Tinkerbell Brook. Those are off of Chestnut Street. I figured that one out. Uh, I don't the only think reason I'm figuring that was because the Tinkerville Brook goes right through it. So. Yeah, I don't think there are any improvements to that. I think it's... There's no trails on that. That's or, just, I don't think there's even a sign, is there? No. I think those were house lots that were yeah. eventually deemed unbuildable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's no trails on the, the Liam. Is in, are the trails on the Liam? Yes. In the one? Okay. There is a trail on that one. Okay. So Tinkerville Brook is that's definitely a no. So there's no public access? Well, I mean, you can park on the side of the road and go in. But, but there's, there's no trails. There's nothing. There's no trail. There's no sign. OK. Nobody's being invited. Right. OK. Yeah. I've so. counted the poles. <laughs> OK. All right, now there's two that are just called conservation areas, so let me a second check. It says French as an alternate name, which I believe might be the Makowski Drive. Charlie? Yeah. Oh, not Charlie French, yeah. Is there 10.63 acres and 10.42 acres on those? You cross check them with this one, I guess. Makowski. Conservation area ones are, yep, like you said, uh, near uh, Makowski Drive mm -hmm. and yep. Southeast Main Street. Yep. So it's this area here. Yep. And it's all, all of these mm -hmm. lots here. Yep. Is there any access to to those? Any trails? I have tried to. It says on the road, Makowski Drive, private. Okay. It's adjacent to a private residence. Okay. So, all right. There's so. nothing, nothing there right now. Right. No trails or anything. So yep. No trails. Okay. All right. Same thing. Oh, 
East Main Street Conservation Area. Mm -hmm. Keith, yep. And there's nothing developed on that yet either. Okay. Not for trying. Yeah, yeah. Like it, there's plans, but it's, it's not there yet. Nothing is there the yet. The access <clears throat> to it, I think both foundations threw all their giant boulders in it okay. on either side. Okay. And just FYI, southeast is one word. Okay. And we're trying to find it again. Okay. All right. So again, no, no trails. Next, we've got Martin Road Recreation Park. It's a playground. I'm trying to, well, playground. it's got fields too. Playground. Yeah, I'm trying to get you an address. Um, maybe not. Uh, 127 Martin Road. Full public access. Okay. to come into it. I'll show you on the map. Okay. Um, next is Pine Needle Park. Looks like there's an access on Southeast Main Street, U Street, and off of Glen Street. This I think the access on that off of actually Route 16 is by the old VFW and there's a soccer field in there. Okay. But that whole property is owned by the town, so it also includes the town wellhead on the other they, end. They get gravel there too. Okay. So what, would that be Acra for protection? That's further on the list. It's one piece of property that contains various elements. Okay. Uh, it's got those soccer fields in there. Okay. That's called Pine Needle One. Uh, I don't know why they're calling it Pine Needle Park. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the state's calling it that. It's I don't like know. Pine Grove Cemetery that they took all the trees down. <laughs> Bury the people. Yeah. All right, so, but there are, there is public access there in addition to so potentially it? water protection. Pine Needle Park, it's behind the old BFW. Yeah, the access off of in w, w Street the is the direct into the, the well. Okay. The well, the well head. Um, well, storage tank is in there. Yeah. Uh, but you said there's field, too, fields huh? there too, or yes, yes. Okay. That's off of Route 16, coming in from that end. Oh, there's another tank. Up no, this one doesn't doesn't connect to the on uh, maybe um, Franklin Street. This is Southeast Main. Big huge tank. Southeast Main. Maybe from here. Main Street. Or, um, Oh, those might be two others. That's what it is. There's a tank off um, Franklin Street. Water Talk, tank. Yeah, off of Franklin Street and also there's, and I've got one on U Street. Yeah. There's one just down the road from me. can blow that up and do a satellite image. Yeah. Oh, you know what it is? This little strip right here. Oh, that's it. Yep. <laughs> Tiniest strip. The well head here. That's it. Uh, all right, so that one here. is another one we'll have to do an assessment on. That's, yeah, it's public access. Uh, veterans Field. That's a... Uh, the ballpark, right? Manchog. Manchog Road. Okay. At the 
end of B Street. Yeah, put that on yep, right now. off of uh, Manchog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yacino, yeah. Yacino. <laughs> Good job. Uh, and I assume there's fields there. Yes. Full public, yep. Which one? Maybe Franklin? Mm hmm. I think that's at the top of Franklin. Yeah, because the other one's in the Pine Needle Park property. Yeah. Yep, Franklin Street, sort of near Maple Street. Um, I assume there's no conservation, recreation, public access there. No. for protection. attached to the Pine Needle Park. Okay, one. It's it's not attached to Pine Needle Park, it's but it's up off of uh, Route 16. So that would that would be with the last one, probably. Uh, almost near, this is Veterans Field here, mm -hmm. and this is the aquifer protection. So it's as you're going oh, west oh. on 16 up in the, behind is the houses. Right it's right out Brook? Yeah. Uh, yep. Oh God. Does it cross West Street there too? Like at the mm. northern end of it? Oh yeah. Yep, yeah. it crosses yeah. over West yeah. Street. Yep. That would be where I think the water supply no, I guess. But that's the pump house too. Yeah, the, yeah the it says pump house is the last one. Yeah, that would be, the West Street one would be the pump house, I think. Okay. Wouldn't it? Yeah. A little brick building. Yeah. yeah. And there's no public access on those properties mm -hmm. either. I So the Douglas Water Supply is the one next to West Street. Mm -hmm. There's like a couple different parcels that are there. And now I'm going to skip down to the knoll. Uh, it's just, sorry, the one before it. U Street Conservation Area. Yeah, which yeah I was just showing you because it's all in the same area. Yeah. Oh. Um, so this here, these couple parcels here are called the Aquifer Protection Supply Lands. This, you can't see it, but this, there's a, another parcel here called uh, the Water Supply Land, and then this is just null. Uh, would that just still be Water Supply Land? You think? Probably. Probably. Uh -huh. No. No public access. It's uh, 
Looks like it's in a wetland area anyways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll call that water supply as well. And then U Street. Oh, there's a trail up in there, that U Street one. Is there? Hmm? Is there anything up there? <laughs> there's a bit of a trail into the wetlands there, but there's a sign that says conservation area. It's a yeah. U Street conservation area. Yep. Right. A sign in a parking, probably. I don't know if it says brown roulette or something else. Yeah. Okay, but so there's some public access? access? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Actually, the one has map seven has the community groundwater wells on them. Oh, okay. Now on my list, I had doesn't have the one on Franklin Street on it. two more pieces on my list from the, that are owned by the conservation, under the Conservation Commission. Right. And they probably will be on this big list. Let's see it. Which ones are they? The one by Children's Haven. Well, this is uh, conservation. Yeah, so look at the, under the okay. conservation. All right, so on this uh, bigger spreadsheet here, website. <laughs> again, I pulled this one off of the town's um, GIS assessor's website, um, and it's all all of the land that's owned by the town, um, so it's not separated out by um, you know open space land. And then I tried to go through you know any of the school properties, um, any of the tax possession lands. I crossed those off because those aren't um, they wouldn't fall into this category um, for the site assessment. But I wasn't sure about the other one, so I figured um, we could go through and see if any sort of pop out that we should also include in that assessment. Yeah. Uh, instead of going down one by one, I'll just let you shout out if there's any that you want to uh, add to it. Mm. Becky, do you have the, I think it's on Mechanic Street. Do you have a listing off Mechanic Street there? What, Nina's? Yeah. That's on Caswell Court, I think. No. It's not? It's the first page, a third of the way down? Yeah, I see that, but... I've got you... something off of Main Street. I thought it was off of... So what's the next... Well, she was Cummings Court. Which she one? was by the bank. Is that she Cummings was by... Court? Yeah. Cummings Court, is that? Which one? I don't know. She was by uh, Unibank. Down that little dead end street. On the... Oh, maybe it wrapped around. No, she was the house that they tore down. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. I just know the street before mm -hmm. the Unibank. On the left hand side, there's a, a piece of property that's owned by the Conservation Commission, 2.04 acres. Yeah, that's her. And that's Caswell Court? Caswell uh, Court? Or is it? It's whatever. I need my phone. <laughs> Sorry. I need There's a castle map. court. And a street map. map. Paper. Yes. No. It's coming for it. As well as the one off Gilboa. No, it's off of uh, Mantar. Yeah. Either way, it's on. It's, Whatever's there is not. I see it at the bottom of the accessible. first page. It's not accessible. Okay. Conservation Commission, yeah, Cummings Court. Yeah, that's that's a, that one's a no. Here, why don't we go through all the ones that are 
uh, co-owned by the Concom. Uh, Mumford Street. Yeah, we got that we one. Got that one already. Seventy-seven Mumford Street. And then Cummings Court. You said that's not accessible. Yeah. This is Caswell. Oh. Caswell's next to the Catholic Church. Right here. That's right. Uh, Briarwood Circle. Um, that is, that's the one I was telling you about, the other one. Um, that is nothing on it right now. Okay. Wait, did we get married last piece? Did we figure out? Because I think that one's Manchuk Street Cons and Conservation Commission, 13 and 136.14. <coughs> In the middle of the first page? Yep. And that's got a sign and some parking. Okay. And it's an open field, so you can walk around. Yeah. Kind of. Okay. And is there uh, a different name for that? Well, it's dedicated to Mary Lynn Doobie, who was a okay. former conservation chair. M A R Y L Y N N E, I think it was. D U B E. Wood Circle. What the heck is that? That is in between the Douglas Pike and 96. Um, you've actually got a big parcel of land that's the, it's just on the bottom side of the Southern New England Trunk Line Trail. Yeah. So you've got the Children's Haven and it's an, in the back side of Briar. Briarwood Circle, which would be further down the Douglas Pike. It's got this little, must be Briarwood Circle Drive, but it's 4.07 acres, which is plunk in the middle of nowheres. <laughs> it sounds like another unbuildable house lot. Is that that might come in handy if we could work with uh, the Children's Haven property to go because that that abuts the railroad bed yeah to, so to go through there then to make a loop onto that and then come back but right now it's insulated yeah with no no way to get to it yeah it's this one right here yeah yep excuse me hmm. all right so no access there That 209 South Street. It's um, <laughs> that's what we we're all looking at. It. It's Tinkerville Brook. Oh, is it t South? Oh, and Chestnut. Yep. Right. Yep. One's on South Street. One's on Chestnut. Yes. Okay. It's weird that they put that on. 
on South Street. Okay. Southwest Main Street, Williams Land. <laughs> Nineteen Southwest Main. Nineteen Williams. Southwest. Yeah, Williams Land. Yeah. So it's this property right here. Uh, it's like there's maybe some wetlands in the back of it near Dudley Brook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be um, just across the street from the entrance to that camp meeting grounds. Hmm. Okay. I mean, nobody, Williams Land, what means, what does that mean? Yeah. Know? All the concom land. Yep. Um, any other properties listed here that uh, you think we should do an assessment on? Maybe the common? I mean, it's public access. Yeah. Now, Northwest Main Street, the Chamberlain land, is that not conservation? It's just town owned. No, I don't know why it's labeled that. Which one? It's the first page of five down Chamberlain land on Northwest Main. The town owns the first, but then there's two, it says Chamberlain land. I, I thought the town. I don't know, I'd have to research those. Okay. This Is this a uh, forested area, you said? Mm. Yep. Okay. And is there any access? Yeah, I think there is. Oh. Yeah, we kept one lot at the street. Yeah, it's by the Beagle Club. Hmm. Yeah, there's access. Okay. Both of those that together have access, the two parcels. Well, actually, that's the same thing, just written twice. Yeah, town of Douglas and Douglas Town of. Well, it's, there's a no, two different chamber parcels, 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 parcels numbers. Yeah. But it, maybe they're on each side of the. It's like a dashed line through the middle of it, kind of. It may be yellow. Yeah. It's, um, oh, it's, it's yeah. cart road, cart path. There is, there's a lot, there was one, there's access as well as one lot that we didn't sell at the yeah. street. Yeah, to preserve access. Yeah. It's 
So is that something we have to walk around or if it's so, town owned? <laughs> you know, it gets a little tricky. The the way the state defines it is that it's town owned conservation and recreation land that's deeded for that purpose. So typically it has to be owned by the Conservation Commission or a Parks and Rec Commission. Uh, or if a town doesn't have those commissions or if they don't hold land, then it would be uh, you know any land that's owned by the town. But again, it's deeded for that purpose. Um, so you could get away with just doing this list of five that's from this open space um, that we pulled from Mass Mapper. These extra three and, and potentially more um, we've pulled from the town's assessor's data. Um, so they might not necessarily be deeded for those purposes, though they might be used as such. Um, so that's why it kind of gets iffy. You know, I've asked the state and they're not entirely there's not clear. any access. I mean, there's access, yeah, there's, but it's not. There's no parking or sign or. Anything. Yeah, if they're if you're not, no it's not drawn, specific. If you're not drawing people intentionally to that area for use, then I would say you don't have to um, do that assessment. If you know, if you've got a sign, you've got trails, you're, you know, you're drawing people to use that area, then I would say include it in that assessment. So then the chamber, chamber, uh, Chamberlain, no, don't include that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, but we will include the common and we will include the um, Manchog Street property, the uh, Maryland Doobie Conservation Land. Correct. Okay. Uh, what's the other comment? This one in East Douglas. Okay. Do you have well, Oktoberfest? People are swarming on it. <laughs> in front of the church. Um, do you know what the? But well, that's not public property. I mean, oh, okay. So. That's yeah. All right. That belongs to the church. Probably. Oh, yeah, right. then yeah, we would not do right. that one. Okay. Any other um, lands that you think would apply? I mean, what about the town hall, like the basketball? Yeah, I was just going to say, is the basketball court for town use protected? Probably not. Oh, I have no idea. Well, we could include it and um, see what it's an asset for, well, so that's an asset for public recreation. Then how do you classify schools, the right. school recreation? That's include all those, probably. The track and everything. Um, yeah, the skateboard park and. So I'll leave that up to you all <laughs> to decide. Um, I'd say if you're going to do the basketball court, you probably want to do the schools. Um, those those typically aren't protected recreational facilities. Um, but they're used by the public. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's again, where the, the yeah. state doesn't really uh, provide a lot of guidance on that. But but so we, we can list them as assets, but we don't have to. We don't have to do this yet. assessment. As the, okay. Correct. Mm, we can make a little sub list yep. for, and then can the building yeah. T typically, decide. so what what I like to do with the open space plans is, um, which, which is funny to me, is they don't have a spot where you would say like, 
you know, open space or, or community events or um, open space destinations or, you know, recreation facilities. They don't ask you to actually list those out. They just ask you to list out, um, like, the, the town-owned properties mm -hmm. or, um, like, the land trust properties, nonprofits, things like that. So I like to include a separate section where I detail out a little bit more about what these additional facilities are, you know, what amenities are there, things like that. So we can include the school properties, we can include the basketball court in that list, but not have to do that ADA assessment because it doesn't fall into your, or the, um, the CONCOM's jurisdiction or, um, you know, it's not deeded for those specific uses. Or we can include it all. I'll, you know, I'll, again, I'll leave that up to you guys. No, I was just curious how veterans feel this described. So that includes in the deed that it's for recreational use. There's like a note on mass map or somewhere that. Okay, somewhere it does say that, okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's, you know, it's possible that maybe that's deeded for, for recreation use. It just didn't get transferred into the assessor's website um, or the assessor's database. Okay. Uh, but why don't we, let's stick with these seven properties for now. So we've got that, the Mumford, you know, the Leon Conservation Area, um, the Martin Road Rec Park, Pine Needle Park, Veterans Field, U Street Conservation Area, uh, Maryland Doobie Conservation Area, and then the Douglas Center, uh, the Common. Um, so we'll stick with that for our ADA assessment. And like I said, you know, when we submit the plan to the state, they're always gonna come back with comments. So if for some reason they say you have to do the assessment on these other properties too, you know, we can do that after the fact. Um, you know, while the, though it's hot, you know, while the weather's still relatively nice, uh, do we wanna schedule some site visits? We have to <coughs> talk to Ken Fraser. Okay. Um, if you want to talk to him in, um, he said any time when I talked to him like oh, okay. three months ago. Because <clears throat> um, what I can come out as well and you know provide some guidance and, and take some pictures of the area that we can include in the plan. Um, well, I have a question then. Are we having the next meeting on August 9th or are we skipping that one and just going to the forum? Um, we can do that if you want to do a site walk instead. Um, I was thinking just, you know, since I think I do have a meeting time okay. um, reserved. But. Well, let's do the site walk and then if there are any last details, we can cover those too. So right. we don't need to book a meeting or anything. We could just ask him if he's available. Yeah, I think, okay. I mean. On the 9th that you can just one post that we're meeting at. I don't know from here or wherever, because here we could go to Martin Road and then. Yeah, maybe we'll pick two properties. I'm, you know, I'm not sure how long the assessment will last. I think it really depends on how large the property is and how many amenities there might be at the property. Um, but we could start with two, and then um, it's not that many, really. I mean, if you yeah. do with this in an hour and a half probably. But if he's available, why don't we do the Martin Road and the Veterans Field, the two recreation mm -hmm. centers, and then if we have more time, we can go to a third. Okay, so we'll definitely do Martin Road. So this is on the night? Yes. Away that week. Can we come? <laughs> oh. Well, it doesn't matter what the date is, really. I mean, it's just because I had that. No, pick another time. I don't care. Yeah. Just, if it's at one or one fifteen, I can make. Okay, it's it's a nearby, hmm? nearby appointment. Uh, yeah. Okay, you want to make to one fifteen? Th or are we even one thirty? One thirty. Yeah. yeah. We don't care about you, Kathy. <laughs> yeah. Not, not everyone has to be there. It's not official yet, anyway. Um, so not, you're on vacation. We really don't care about you. Yeah. We hate you. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, so we'll take care of those two, and then, like you said, if we get through them pretty quick, we can add another one on. Uh, and then maybe either later in August or in early September, we could check off the other ones as well. Road. So do we want to meet here, or do you want to meet um, at one of the, the parks first? We might as well meet at the park yeah, and get time. started. Yeah, okay. Meet at Veterans Park. Okay. Or which one? Yes. Yeah, How meet. can we go call at Soldiers Field? Huh. Yeah, I know it. I don't know. Yeah, the one down on uh, Manjog Road. Below That's the, the Veterans yeah. Field. Yeah. Soldiers right Field. Where you found your invasive species. Right. Okay. <laughs> and so that one's also called Soldiers Field. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. More, more likely. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, that's all I had. But you'll check to see if uh, the building inspectors are available. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. No, so before you leave, did we figure out, Becky, like the SNET trail, did we figure out how that's going on these maps? Is that going to be included in the trails or? Because that's Commonwealth property. That well, in the the map with the open space and protected areas, that will sh that should be shown as the See. dark green or whatever. Yeah. So that, that needs to be colored in, mm -hmm. and it's not just a straight line because it's very odd. There's some odd shapes that come off of it, which I can show you on this map if you're at all interested. And but then on the trails map, it would show up there then. Yeah, we're going to do a separate trails map. So okay, but it's on here, but it doesn't. It's not shown as Commonwealth property. Yeah. Yeah, it needs to be. Yeah, Matt. We'll it find needs to be. It, it needs to be colored in. Yeah, he's on vacation. That's all the conservation lands, isn't it? Do we need yeah, to do the conservation the restriction so one up on high hilltop. So this will, from here on, it would be Any more than we need to torpedo Tetro's land? I mean, he's probably got it under something or right right there. It's wider there than he didn't it is think. Right so, you here. don't think so? That would all be protected like that. And then these are the trails yes. in the park. Yeah, he was going to go to somebody that's else because yep. he didn't right. trust the time. There's a trust, but yeah. You All they do is build it, sell trails. lots and build houses, yep. as far as I can tell. Yeah. School. There's another big one, I think, going into the back. Really? By the brook, I think. Okay. I didn't know that. Has that just gone on? Okay, great. Okay. Danny, do you have another set of maps on you? I don't have any on me, uh, but I can print some and bring them. Uh, I have an extra set at home. Well, I was just thinking we should give a set to Matt. I totally spaced that the other day. The planner. Look at it. Okay, and I can I can send him um, kind of a digital set. copies too. Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. No, because do you know we're reviewing all these. All he should oh, yeah. definitely have a I'm copy to look that. at. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. I can send this to somebody. Can they print this out in a big map for me, please? Yeah. Well, look at this. is what I did for him. Like, yep. Everything is here. And I ask her every time, does Matt want this map? Because <laughs> everything is marked on it. Yep. But he doesn't, he doesn't reach for it, which is why. And I still have it. <laughs> All right. 
that it for Danny? That's it for me, <laughs> unless there's any questions. No. Okay. No, thank you. No. All right, I, the. Oh, sorry, I just want to make sure that we continue to publicize this because I got it in the. Um, the new next. Well, I time. sent it to the new Oxbridge Times, whether they print it or not is another thing. But <laughs> I'll send it to the Tribune, but if there's any other places. Oh, and the Express, I send it off to send it there. And I will email it. You all have, it's in the OneDrive, but I'll email where it is. Um, so the, the updated flyer. Flyer. Anybody want some? I know where to put them, so I mean, here's for <laughs> the most street. street. <laughs> street <flags. laughs> and here's for your stores. <laughs> I'll take one. Yeah, can I have one extra just so you I can? You can have them all. The information so I can email Pass it. one down to Gordon. You look anxious. <laughs> look at that, Sue. So you're done already. Yeah, I got rid of five. Yes. Now I only have 30. The thing is, they keep taking them down. Um. One of the town's Facebook sites. Yeah, I did that last time. I did it the face the two Facebook sites, and I did it um, the Bay State members. And you can do it again. Can Go it for it. Hmm? It's tough because it's summer and people aren't looking at this stuff. So. Yeah, it's build up to Labor Day weekend. To keep reminding them, we do what we can do. Yep. 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 Let. Let the committees know, even though they shouldn't have to be reminded. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. I got it. Right. I'll see you all on August 9th. Okay, well, someone. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. How was your brother's wedding? It was good. It was great. Oh, good. Yeah, beautiful weather. Yeah. Very sunny. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. Nice. Take care. You too. Bye. Thanks. Yeah, I, the guy that's doing the zap, the heading the black, zap the Blackstone, I emailed him 38 locations in town after looking at my topographic map for oh. streams and roads coincide. Yep. And to check. He was like, oh. <laughs> Just in time to do that because I heard Worcester dumped a bunch of crap in the Blackstone. <laughs> oh, I know. I heard that. That's putting it nicely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think the Merrimack just had one too. It's like we have almost no rain, but we managed to dump surge into the rivers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you think that you would plan for that? Is that what, under climate resiliency? <laughs> to plan for heavy rainfall that it doesn't overflow? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that's the whole thing. So are they going that? to get back to us if that's a, a viable thing to do? in town to clean the streets where the stream crossings are? No, I just, you know, it was my suggestion yep. because we no longer are available on that day. We'll be at the common. Well, just in the morning. This is true. Yeah. This is true. But he told me they, you know, they've got a list and they've got publicity out, but I haven't yep. seen it. Before. All righty. So. All right. Any new business? No? Is anyone kind of, I, since I was putting this map together, so all these in purple are unknown or no data linked to these parcels. Mm -hmm. yeah, a um, this big piece up here actually abuts a piece of town owned property, as does. I could be no. Is that no data? For some reason. The one I on U they, Street. I think that's. No. There's a piece of budding the U Street conservation area. Right. With it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. I've no got data. it all written on here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Good yeah. one. Yep. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, and that's plus down these are all. Uh, what would? Ha <sighs> your Bukowski is all owner unknown. I know in previous talkings with unknown owners or no data, she said once they found out who owned it, then they could start assessing them for the taxes. Well, there's a process that can be done. You can't just say, oh, you haven't paid in 30 years and boom. There's a process it goes through that it's basically publicized X amount of times so that anybody can, you know, if there's a, I don't know, 
Any error? Error, errors, yeah. Errors, yeah. <laughs> Somebody can come forward. But once you've done that process, it then goes to tax taking. So that they can take it. But a lot of times what towns are now doing is subcontracting with the auction house. And if we don't monitor these critical pieces, yep. so we have to make sure we know if there's any movement on these pieces because we can ask the town or go to town meeting and take those pieces because they're valuable conservation slash recreation land that should be added to our holdings. So would it, it behoove them to put us in loop on whatever they're doing somehow or other? I agree, but at the moment, I don't even, I'm not even sure we have, I guess we have a full-time assessor. I don't even know. Since Beth retired, I, I have to go down there and see who's who. Hmm. I thought we had got some assessor. Well, we did, we had the woman come, the financial woman come in and talk to us about all the different properties and how to go about yep. sort of things like that and which ones that we, you know, and she said, I thought that if there was something interesting that she thought would be interesting to us, she would allow us to be, you know, to show it to us, but that most of the ones that she had done last year or that they do bunch them together and do a bunch every couple of years that there was nothing that was mm -hmm. worth us looking at. Yeah, but so there are easier they could just for tonight's Board of Selectmen meeting, there's a approved temporary slash limited appointment for Ma for Beth McKay, assessor's office. That means to bring her back because we have nobody yet. Hmm. I guess, because that's who just retired. And the thing is that that I'm person- You make you feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> but how that person looks at property and how we look at property is very different. Right. right. They could say, oh, that's just a sliver, when in fact that sliver could be connection. Yeah. yeah. Plus so they, it's still up to us. They don't get the whole, it saves taxes, not yeah. to have. Yeah. So. so we need to somehow get onto the loop on that. We can, well, when taxes, well, you know, like print it in the Actually. Tribune. Yep. The town, so much is owed in back taxes. And I guess that's quarterly, or we can find out when that happens. And then is there a specific piece? But if it's all, I don't even. I mean, we could list the ones that we can find on the website that are unknown and then give her a list and say, these are, you know, relevant properties that let us know if anything happens with them or yeah if they're unknown put them on, put them on the so top then that of the list. would be had to be publicized like you said I didn't know there was a process like that to go through that yeah there is but I question some of these unknowns because I think they know who owns these properties it's like come on or they've been sitting there as unknowns for 30 years take them that's why Beth retired <laughs> She did a lot to try to yeah. resolve these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, or maybe we just put it on our agenda every every couple months to say what's to keep us to help us develop a habit that we're going to keep I looking at. It. Yep. Because if you let someone else, they are, they're always busy and will fall to the bottom yep. of the pile. Yep. Well, that list that Danny point printed out. There was a lot of text possession on here. Mm -hmm. I don't know yeah. if any of them are just then resold, perhaps. Davis Street landlocked. No, but sometimes on some they come in and pay them, so they're taken off. Or, right. Right. Okay. Assessors tonight to get approved to be on the committee. Board of Assessors, well, I'm in the select, select board. Yeah. Select select yeah. Select yeah. Board of Selectmen. Selectmen, yeah. 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 You get a job as an assessor while you're there. <laughs> and then I have to get sworn in, I guess, and then I have to take a ethics thing or something. Mm -hmm. so. Good well, luck. 
It's a tricky test. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you are going on vacation. <laughs> I move we adjourn. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, anyone? I make it second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Two to five.